reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth in jubilant song, you who were not in labor. For numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space of your tent. Spread out your tent clothes unsparingly. Lengthen your robes and make firm your stakes. For you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left. Your descendants shall dispossess the nations and shall people the desolate cries. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush, for you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you shall forget. The reproach of your widowhood no longer remember. For he who has become the husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. A wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandon you, but with great tenderness I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath for a moment I hid my face from you, but with enduring love I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You pre preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Thursday, December 15th, the Gospel is Luke. When the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments? Those who dressed luxuriously and lived sumptuously are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, and I tell you, more than a prophet. This is the one about whom scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, yet least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listened, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees Scholars of the law who are not baptized by him rejected the plan of God for themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the bookend of yesterday. So they left to go back to John talking about the revelation they had seen, and then Jesus kind of lets the cat right out of the bag. John is chosen. No one born of women is greater than he, and yet the least in the kingdom are greater. He lets everybody know that everybody's a child of God. Yes, John is extraordinary. John is amazing, but so are all of you. If you embrace the salvation of God that is before you, which is Jesus Christ. Many, many did, and he recounts that in this gospel. Many were baptized by John. Many came to the Lord Jesus. Some did not. We don't know. Maybe they came later. Who knows? 
but many, many did because they saw in John the one who was to come to announce the Christ. And then, as we saw yesterday, go and tell John what you see. The blind are healed and they see, and the lame are walking, and lepers are healed, and the dead are raised. So you have two bookends, and it all comes together. The kingdom of God explodes on the scene. John announces it, Jesus lives it out, and we are drawn to it. And we still are drawn to it. My favorite word, we are drawn to it in discipleship, just like they were then, just like you and are today. Christmas is a time when we shop for gifts and we buy cards and we do all sorts of things, but it's a time of discipleship because we too, just like the shepherds and like those who will go to the birthplace of the Lord, we too will go to that birthplace. We have our place there, not as shepherds, not as the magi, not as any of the crowd who might have gone there, but as disciples. That was long ago, that's done. Discipleship is now the order of the day, and that is how we will kneel at the feet of the child. Take care, my friends, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God as Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And good morning. Good morning. And to all of you watching from so many faraway places, we welcome you to be part of our parish community this morning. We open our hearts as we light the third candle of our Advent wreath. Lord God, your church joyfully waits the coming of its Savior who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us as we light the third candle of this wreath. May its light reflect the, spend, the splendor of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel will come to thee, O Israel. And let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. 
Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, come and save us. Lord, Lord come, come and, and save us. us. The Lord God keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. The Lord, Lord will come, come and save us. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. The, the Lord, Lord will come, come and, and save us. The fatherless and the widow he sustains. <clears throat> the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. The Lord, Lord will come, come and, and save us. us. A reading from the letter of St. James. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophet who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When John the Baptist heard in prison the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with a question, are you the one who is to come or should we wait for another? Jesus said in reply, tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear and the dead are raised up, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds. What did you go into the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who dress in fine clothing, they sit in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and something more than a prophet, the one about whom it is written, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. 
I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist, and yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. This, my friends, is the gospel of the Lord. I had the joy and privilege of officiating at a wedding Friday night in at a little country inn outside of New Hope, Pennsylvania for some very good friends. And I thought to myself, if I have to drive out there, I haven't been there in a while. All of you, many of you have been there. It's a very kind of touristy, wonderful colonial area to go to. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to leave early on Friday and spend some time sightseeing, walking around. And so I packed everything. And you, you know you've reached a certain age and point of maturity. When you're younger, it's your toothbrush and your toothpaste and your hairbrush and your pomade or whatever. And you reach a certain age, and the first thing that goes in are your blood pressure pills. <laughs> you know, you're not worried about the, the, you can always get a toothbrush in the corner store, but you can't get you know what when you need it. And um, so I did all of that. I was very careful. I had everything I needed, so I thought. In all the weddings I've done in all the years, I have a little tiny red book, and it's the wedding ritual. Now, I can do a wedding without it, but I had scribbled notes in it. I made a couple little uh, pieces of paper I needed, some recollections of the family. Everything was in it. And I left, and I forgot it. Would you like to know when I remembered that I had to come back and get it? Morristown. Now, I'm saying this because the word patient is mentioned three times in the letter of St. James. <laughs> so I'm on 287 in Morristown, and I realize I could do it without it, but I'm going to turn around in 287 and go home. And I did it, and I didn't say one bad word. <laughs> Not one bad word. I thought to myself, well, I'll be just a little tiny bit later. It'll be okay. Came all the way back. I got it. Went all the way out there. And somewhere along Route 206, um, a poor lady, um, I don't know what she hit, but most of the front of her car was all over the road. And she was sitting on, on the bumper of the back of her car, and she was crying. And um, she was fine. I wasn't fine, but she was fine, because the delay, because of the cleanup, was enormous. And I thought of the letter of St. James, and I thought, she has it worse than I do today. She's sitting there with the remains of her car. And I thought, well, this is what happens. I'll have 10 minutes to walk around New Hope when I get there. And I proceeded along a little further, and the town of Bridgewater decided that this was the day to rebuild one of the bridges. And I thought a lot about the letter of St. James. <laughs> and I waited, and I waited. And I thought, well, that probably too cold to walk around New Hope anyway. <laughs> and I uh, looked at the four men jackhammering up the bridge, and I thought, those oh, poor fellows that look like they're so cold. My goodness, I'm sitting here in my warmth, listening to music. And I proceeded along my way. The, the whole notion of patience is so well situated in this letter of St. James. And I am not always a patient person, and I'm sure some of you fit that category, especially when you have an idea of where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to do, and how you want to live, and all of it gets thwarted by something. You know, it's the old saying, man proposes and God disposes. And so we have in St. James, and it's so it's, it's in such incredibly clear language, and especially in this particular season we're in right now, because this is when all the rushing around really grows more intensely, okay? So what is it? What does he say? Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. And that's exactly the mood we're in right now, the coming of the Lord. But there's all this other stuff going on. 
And then he says, see how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it. You also must be patient. There's that word mentioned three times, so very important. Make your hearts firm because the coming of the Lord is at hand. We are all called to not forget the disposition of the human heart in the next few weeks before Christmas. Because that, from the human heart, comes the greatest gifts that we can give to one another. The gifts of love and joy and patience and all the rest are in here, locked up, ready to be set free as we approach Christmas and the feast of Christ coming into the world because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Then there is the next line in St. James, do not complain. People complained 2,000 years ago. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> they were just as bad as us. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Okay? So I don't know of any advice that could, be, that could span these two millennia and still mean exactly today what it meant then. Take as an example of hardship and patience the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The prophets, as you know, <clears throat> Isaiah, Zechariah, Jeremiah, all of them, a prophet is not there to predict the future. A prophet is very much like parents. You're there to let your kids know that if they keep doing this, that, and the other thing, it's not going to work out so good. Do parents want to be prophets? Not necessarily. It's, it's not easy to look at your kids and kind of be, you know, the prophet, because they don't want to listen, of course, but they need to. And that's what parenting is really all about. My mother was a very good prophet. She would tell my sister and I in no uncertain terms about things that if we kept doing them were going to go badly. And then when my father would come home, she would tell him to do the same thing. So they were in sync together as prophets. And then a few moments after dinner, he would sneak into the bedroom where we were. And he would look at us and say, your mother makes me do this to you. He was the worst prophet in the whole world. <laughs> he really was. Amazing, we grew up at all sometimes when I think about it. But nonetheless, <clears throat> the prophet spoke in the name of the Lord, and I think you all know that. You do it because you, you speak in the name of the Lord because you want your kids, once again, to grow up understanding what's in here, which brings us right back to the next two weeks, the coming of Christ and the unlocking of the gifts in the human heart. So in the next couple of weeks, while you're picking out the gifts or you're wrapping them or you're doing whatever you're doing, be patient with one another. Unlock the gifts of the human heart. Remember what I said last week, you know, when you have your folks coming into the house, you know, give it a shot. You being in my home is a blessing. See if you can say that to the folks who come in Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Extend the greeting of the Lord from your heart into the hearts of those you love. And it will really kind of put the, the frosting on the cake for Christmas in a way that brings Christ into your home. Oh, he's there in all of the decor on the tree and the crash and everything else. But the best resting place for the Lord, as we all know, is right in here. memory I think I have. And of course my mother knew he was going to do it, so what do you do? <laughs> I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now, my friends, as we have shared the word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion.
friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says, or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.
St. Jude is the patron saint of hopeless causes and desperate situations. Catholics have relied on his intercession in times of extreme need for centuries. This apostle and martyr has helped countless souls through his epistle in the New Testament and his intercessions on behalf of those who seek his aid in times of trial. Pray this St. Jude Novena for your intentions asking St. Jude to intercede to God the Father, his Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit on your behalf. We like to say that he is the patron saint of impossible causes, because even though something may seem hopeless, with God there is always hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most Holy Saint Jude, Apostle, Martyr, and Friend of Jesus, today I ask that you pray for me and my intentions. You are the patron of the impossible. Pray for me and my intentions. O St. Jude, pray that God's grace and mercy will cover my intentions. Pray for the impossible if it is God's will. Pray that I may have the grace to accept God's holy will, even if it is painful and difficult for me. St. Jude, you loved our Lord. Help me to love him more. O St. Jude, pray for me that I may grow in faith, hope, and love, and in the grace of Jesus Christ. Pray for these intentions, but most of all, pray that I may join you in heaven with God for all eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The first luminous mystery, the baptism in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Second Luminous Mystery, The Wedding at Cana Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Fifth Luminous Mystery, The Institution of the Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee do we pray, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, then eyes of mercy toward us, and after this at our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, while meditating upon the mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of now the Son, friends, and of the Holy the Spirit. Of together. Amen. I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. <laughs> 